Got the same view, isn't it? Steve VK3 KZT. Big glasses on. Um, just a short video today on the pros and cons of using a self-fusing tape. I won't call it amalgam tape because that is, appears to me to be different. But I went to my um, local electrical supplier and found some of this Nitto Butyl self-fusing tape. Oh, oh, this will be great for my terminals on my antennas. Well, little did I think, this is what the tape looks like here, and this is comparing it to a uh, normal Nitto. Here's my thinking, oh yeah, this will be good for my uh, antennas, blah blah blah. And because I change and modify antennas a lot, I found a problem for my application. If you want a bulletproof, never going to get wet connector, this is it. But I refer to your connectors as being one time only. And why do you ask? Well, I've had this on a couple of the antennas that I've fitted it to. And it's really, it looks good. It sounds good. It is probably good. But it's here. Is it good enough for you to see? If you have a look at the, um, let me see, I'll just pause this, I'll be back. Okay, we're back. So here's a piece of tape that I've taken down. Now if you'll notice, it's very, very hard to peel back the outer layer. And if you look in there, you'll see where it's all sticky. Notice... This is a joining connector, there, there it's all sticky, so very hard to get this stuff off and I doubt you'll ever be able to turn your um, turn the PL259 again, so while for a permanent connection, which you're quite happy to cut the ends off, go for it, or if you're like me, and you're swapping antennas a bit, but you still want to maintain, keep them waterproof. I use another tape which is called a silicon plumber's tape. I haven't got any here to show you. Um, so based on the same principle as this, you pull it tight and wrap it around. It has no adhesive on it. And, or in actual fact, here's some from this originally. See this red piece here? That's a silicon plumber's tape. It's like a big piece of plastic, but it's not violent, it's a rubber. And you wrap that around the connector then you go over it with normal electrical tape a couple of times and that pretty well seals it but then when you pull this off if you have a look underneath no sticky gum whatsoever i can pull it right back and there's no gum attached because there's no adhesive on the bottom side of this tape so when you're thinking about how to waterproof your connectors think about it the nitto Butyl tape is a great permanent solution. So for my 2170 antenna, I'm going to put another one up pretty soon uh, for the new shack. I will probably use this on the connectors. But, and this is what I'm cutting this for now, and uh, one of the other antennas. But for the other antennas, I'm constantly changing and modifying and moving and using different coax. I'll be using the silicon tape. This is quite expensive. Normal Nitto is a couple of dollars a roll. This is nearly 20 bucks a roll. So they look very similar, but you see how densely packed it is. And that's 20 bucks for what, 3 metres or something. And they call it self-amalgamating tape, 10 metres of self-amalgamating tape. So pretty good. It comes in different widths and everything like that. But yeah, I thought that'd be interesting to you, uh, the viewers. And, and uh, yeah, something I've just found recently and I got really quite upset by it because... What am I going to do and how am I going to do this? Anyway, thanks for watching. This is VK3 and just to have another look. Well, what's me as I peel this back? If I can get in the shot while I'm peeling it back a bit. It's a real pain in the butt. You see how it's all sticky all the way over there. Pretty disgusting. If you're like me, you've got arthritis all through your hands. Soldering connections isn't your fun, most funnest job, and doing this definitely isn't. But, do you, how waterproof do you want? And look at that, no water is ever going to get in there. Sorry, bring it back over here. 
no water's ever going to get in there. All right. And the rest of it back. See, pretty disgusting that connector. Have a normal one. It'll look like a PL259. This has just got the glue stuck to it. So I don't think I'll be doing that in a hurry. 73 is all. Catch you soon. This is VK3 Kilo Tango Tango. And uh, just with a bit of advice on waterproofing your connections. The do's and the don'ts. Another trick my mate Sparky, the electrician, told me was you wrap it around with normal Nitto tape, you go right over the whole thing, then you flip the tape upside down and have the sticky side on top and then go over it one more time. He goes, I've never had one get, um, get wet using that method. So that's his method. Everyone's got a different way of doing it. This was mine and what I found in using the uh, self amalgamating tape. Right, seven threes, catch you again soon. BK3 Kilo Tango Tango saying seven threes. If you like the video, please press like. And uh, yeah, hit subscribe. You'll be updated on any of the new videos that I have. Hopefully there'll be some soon. Seven threes, BK3 KWT clear.